why be basic when you can be stunning okay okay in the good words of nikki <laughs> <laughs> let's sit on the couch let's talk it out come on join the show i'll tell you what i know oh talk about it it's the best podcast let's have a blast you may have heard of her she's a creative producer she's a wardrobe stylist she's a brand ambassador She's the girl you want to know. <laughs> I had the opportunity to connect with her some time ago, and y'all just don't understand how we have really developed in conversation and in friendship, and I'm so glad that she is joining me here today to talk about that inner glow. It is Brandy, a.k.a. Glow by Graffiti, Graffiti Face. All the things. How Hello. are you? I'm great. How are you, Archie, baby? I'm good. I feel really good. I have to talk about this, though, before we jump into the conversation. When we met, we were both in different eras of life, so we did not get to connect fully until the next year. But you were such a fucking light. And I have to say <laughs> it like that because it was just, it was, I've never met anybody who was just so lit. You lit and you did that so shout out to you and it was also in the hollywood hills Ooh. and we was at this mansion too Ooh. so that kind of helped it you it know it was a beautiful vibe i remember <laughs> that and you stood out like the sunshine up above i said who is this cutie pie i had a yellow shirt on oh he was fire <laughs> i said uh-uh we have to connect we have I, to you connect. are the light thank you for being here thank you for i have to ask me. you though what does it mean for you to live out loud and in color because you always decked out in color too I am. I am. I love color. I, I've always, I, I think, I don't even know what started the whole colorful vibe because it trips people out when I'm like dressed in neon in the middle of fall mm -hmm. or uh, winter it, walking through New York. They're like, oh my gosh. Because you know, New York was, I used when I used to live in New York, yeah. um, everybody wore black especially in the fall, in oh, the winter. Yeah. Especially the fashion Oh, I had people. neon pink bomber jackets and pink trench coats like the whole nine and i think um it was really just it makes you feel good i feel like no matter what mood you're in if you put on a nice color it always brings out a better energy within you and i learned that just you yeah. know with my clients and stuff yeah mm -hmm. you know the majority of people don't exude this genuine love and interest for other human beings but you on the other hand you have built a reputation on it <laughs> when did you learn to embrace this you know, I've always, always been consistently, I have been like this good, loving, friendly, how can I help mm -hmm. person? And I didn't realize that I was like, kind of like amongst few. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know. I was yeah. like, oh, everybody's so kind. We should all just love along. And I realized that um, with just with different relationships and building and meeting new people and the, the impression that I left on people, I realized that I had a specific gift. Mm -hmm. I really do look at it as a gift. And it is a glow. It's a certain aura that shines. And I just wanted to, you know, reflect off of anybody around me. If you're going through a tough time or if you just need some uplifting to get you to the next best thing, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, I recently embraced it when I started meeting new people in other cities uh, that I were not that I was not familiar with you yeah. know it's different when you move and you new, have new friends and you still have that same energy to want to uplift a new person as opposed to yeah. like your day ones because you're from Memphis Neff I get them confused hold on hold on what? We Kentucky, Kentucky. Louisville. Oh, Come oh, on, oh, it's, it's I, Kentucky, know, Nashville. Oh, they, they just, the just, thing is, the problem is people usually confuse it with where you from. Kansas City. Kansas City. They love saying you're from Kansas City. I'm like, I ain't never been there before. <laughs> Sorry, no shit. We got barbecue. Uh, yeah, they, yeah. You gotta take me home with oh, you. Today. I would love to go to Kansas City, <laughs> <Come> baby. <on. laughs> okay. So how do you how do you regain self worth in the world that wants to tear you down from jobs, ethnicity? Being a woman, relationships, politics. Ooh. Sorry, that was a lot to throw on you. Heavy. Sorry. No, I, but I think it, it needs to be asked. I think a lot of us are constantly battling, trying to figure out, maintaining that steady mindset in the midst of so many adversities against us. Mm -hmm. Me, as a black woman, um, coming from a place that where you don't really get to experience a lot of different, um, how can I say it, just ranges that the world has to offer. Kentucky, Louisville is a, my city. I love my city, but it was almost like a 
a like a, a hole at one point where you really just didn't know much outside of it. Mm-hmm. And so when I moved and I saw the world in all these different lights, because I was in D.C. for four years, New York for six years, and now in L.A. So I got to experience a range of culture and, and just different diversities to realize that your situation isn't the worst somebody is you know going through something worse and somebody is doing something better and you can look at both ends of it and and give you hope Mm. so I think that I just push on with self encouragement I keep myself very grounded within um in my own space I make sure that my home is as comfortable for me to where when I walk out into the world nothing that it has will affect what I have internally yeah That's, yeah. that's beautiful wow yeah. I, I, sometimes I, I i you know i've I, in conversation with you i was sitting i'm just like dang who your mama because <laughs> you know speak about the importance of adding value to everywhere you go you mm. add value to everywhere you go uh, thank you Art. i really appreciate it. no <laughs> it really means a lot to me to how think. how do we do this no it really means a lot man because i've realized in these conversations with people that like I said that I don't know but they feel like they know me and I love it when I can meet a stranger but for some reason I'm not a stranger to them because I'm so real Mm -hmm. internally Mm -hmm. and it 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 glows externally so I really really appreciate you saying it but it's real I don't know where it comes from I am raised by a wise woman a wise mother (laughs) a wise granny and my aunt I was I have a lot of great influence around me so why is it that the less someone cares or the less attached to the outcome someone is, they are much more desirable than someone who puts in the effort? Ooh. Well, because I think real people, and I, when I say real people, the real recognize, real quote, mm-hmm. real people recognize when someone is not being authentic or uh, they're trying too hard yeah you, you can, can feel that feel it you can feel it it's like Ooh, chill oh chill out sweetheart it's not that serious mm, your disposition your energy your chemistry yeah you know and um your demeanor your how you know just whether you're even if you are bubbly you still if it comes from a real place like people just will appreciate that versus you just being loud for no reason <laughs> i hate a lot I hate, I cannot take me a loud ass nigga or a loud ass chick, okay? It loud. stresses me out. They laugh for no reason. Loud. You and don't even need to do all that. You don't. And if you want to have a piece of stand out, just wear some color. <laughs> wear some color and glow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> <Aren't> wow. <you>? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, do you do you do you agree that people feel what you feel about yourself? Absolutely. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Um how I, think, I think that about themselves, yeah. how I feel about myself, do I yeah, think that yeah. most people feel that way? Um I'm learning that a lot of people, I take that back. I'm learning that a lot of people don't. Yeah. They they're a lot of people are really struggling with finding whom they are and we all are learning every new things about ourselves on a daily but I know that I'm comfortable in the space that I am right now and constantly working towards that. Some people are not even comfortable in the space that they're in right now. Mm-hmm. And so it it creates a lot of self-doubt and that's why I try to pour into people because understanding that we are a constant 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 developing yeah. machine like so if you're not feeling like your best self right now and you talking down on yourself and doing the whole thing, I'm like, boy, if you don't get that shit together. Okay. Because tomorrow is face. always tomorrow. What, what that girl Glow really just said? I don't even know. Tomorrow. <laughs> um, if, uh, uh, e- oh, the tomorrow the tomorrow too. song. Okay. Whatever wow. she said. But that little quote, it was real. Like, I, I ain't tripping about today because tomorrow's here. Whatever she said. How do you feel about this? Would you say, because you are a light, and, and you know, and this is so random, because every time I think about, you know, your name, your brand, uh, Shop shop, shop Glow, Shop Glow by Graffiti right now. Okay. Um, every time I think about your brand, I, there's this song, you know that song about Janelle, you got that glow, you know that song? Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 that's what I think of. Yeah, yeah. You think so? Uh-huh. I'm going to have to look, put, make it my little background do a things partnership. on my website. We're Janelle, do a partnership. Um, okay, let's go. <laughs> but would you say, because you are a light, Maybe you have attract partners who have been seen as damaged in the past. Oh, we going there. Okay. Um, <clears throat> no. We're going to go there. Okay. I, I definitely think that 
uh, damaged people are attracted to light. I feel like a lot, all people are attracted to light, but damaged people, are, they fight harder to get to it because mm -hmm. they're in such a dark space mm -hmm. that they fight harder to get to the light, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And so because of that, when, when it's naturally in you and you just walk up like, hey, little Buzz Lightyear here, mm -hmm. hey. Mm -hmm. They like, oh, run me that. Run me that energy. Yeah. Run me that. I need those rays up off you. Yeah. Them sunlight, them rays. So it's like, I feel like you definitely attract that. But it's also important and imperative for me and for you, people who are naturally lights. Because, uh, hello, I'm over here. We bouncing off each other right now because I love <laughs> your light. Let's stay, stay that. Let's start there. But um, I think um, it's imperative that we recognize, you know, what we are attracting and kind of create a bounce away, like a effect to where it's like, OK, I see it. But I also see your damage, your traumas. I'm going to keep you at bay before I naturally get too involved and then become like super in just invested in like pulling you out of your thing, you know, because mm -hmm. I feel like that is what where I went wrong in a lot of those relationships where I saw it coming and I didn't stop it. Yeah. yeah you yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah. How did you get started? How did you get started with um, fashion? What was your introduction? Introduction with fashion. Um, I was just fly. Yes, I was, I was just come on. Fly. I mean, and this this is me now saying it with like confidence because I used to be like, oh, I don't want to. I was just a fly young shorty in Kentucky that didn't have a lot of option in terms of like influence, but I knew that I just wanted to dress my own in my own aesthetic. Mm -hmm. And so in high school, I braided hair. I had like the cleanest braids. Everybody started doing those hearts now. Uh -huh. Oh, baby, I was putting hearts and stars in people's heads when I was 14 years old. Like, and I used to braid hair stack my bread be geared up all through high school and then mm -hmm. I realized fashion was something that was a lot more than just um per se like a hobby or something that I could just do for you know for fun so yeah. I went to school for fashion design went to western Kentucky I still stayed in Kentucky but um they offered a program and it just took off from there like sometimes when you you know when you know. Um, when I was four years old, graduating from pre-K, I had a all the kids grab fireman hats and doctor's suits, and yeah. I grabbed a comb out of the thing, and I was like, when I grow up, I want to be a beautician. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, I mean, although I didn't be, become a hairstylist, uh -huh. I mean, although I still can lay some hair. You see these edges? You did it? You see these edges? Okay, no, I see. I ain't do the braids, but I did it. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's just going to be laid, okay? Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, I still wanted, went into a creative space. Yep. Um, so I knew early on that I just wanted to be a free, creative person. Mm -hmm. And fashion was just the, the journey for me. I love that. Yeah. I love that. I love that. Take me back to this um, moment. Maybe there was a moment in time to mm -hmm. where you felt a certain way. When you felt maybe when you abandon yourself okay take me back to that moment you Ooh. weren't fair to yourself and how did that feel and how do you refrain from visiting that Ooh. and i ask you this because i know you are uh, you know just like you're just full of knowledge and so i feel like the people need to get into this um hmm when was the time i will say i've probably had this space uh, I'm, I'm, I would say twice, but both were relationship induced, okay. which goes back to that attracting, you know, people mm -hmm. that are hurt towards the light and such. Um, I was in a very serious relationship at an early age and had just moved to D.C., moved back to Kentucky mm. um, for this person. And I remember day by day month by month feeling like I was losing myself I was watching pieces of my myself just leave out the door every day and my family was upset and my friends were upset and I was just like but I'm gonna stick beside him and um not realizing that I was depleting myself after mm. about three months yeah a lot of stuff took place mm -hmm. and I was at my lowest. And um, I remember moving back to D.C. after those three months because I saved up my little coin and got the hell up out of there. I was like, whoa, 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 Brandy, you wasn't even supposed to be back here. How did this happen, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I just remember 
going back and picking up the pieces and learning to pick up the pieces and you can still cry while doing it yeah you can still cry while doing it you can still reflect while doing it but as long as you constantly picking up those pieces of you back up yeah eventually you'll be whole again so i in my lowest space i still found the shell of me mm. and i knew that it was still there and i knew that i could rebuild her no matter what no matter how hurt how broken uh, my spirit was i knew that god who god created me to be was still in full fully intact yep. we just needed to get those pieces back and and it takes removing yourself completely even when it hurts even when it's hard you just got to do it and i I've fallen back into that again, mm -hmm. you know, in another yeah. relationship. We're human. We do it, right? Yeah. But every time you learn, and I've learned that the the duration of that of that losing pieces of yourself mm -hmm. it shortens because you know better from the last time if you know better wow. you know I hope the people are really tracking with you because you are pro reaching. You know what makes you really excited about life, though? Ah, <sighs> just. Honestly, being recognized as exactly who I am. That's that's my current excitement. Mm -hmm. I, I think it'll always change. Different things will make us excited. But right now, walking in my purpose yeah. without having to say a word to anybody and it's just evident, mm -hmm. I feel so good to know that I'm being exactly who God created me to be. And it's not... It's not by force. It's not like we spoke about before. It's not about force. It's not about trying to make it work. I've lived in three huge cities and where people are struggling to yep. find themselves. And the fact that I walk, wake up every day and I'm okay with who I am, good mood, bad mood or whatever, mm -hmm. that excites me because it gives me more, it gives me more fuel to pour out on other people yeah. and it, it's crazy talking about all this because it's like dang why i didn't even realize you make it like i'm some little guardian angel flying down on because people like ah! you are okay <laughs> covering the kids <laughs> covering the kids come on come on. <laughs> come on over here sit on mama sit on my lap and let come me sit tell on you a story lap, yeah. uh -huh. hey. wow no. you built a brand on glowing glow by graffiti <laughs> <laughs> where that name come from Ooh, I was sitting in a hot tub with a friend looking up at the stars and my swimsuit. I didn't have on a swimsuit. I had on a, a glowy okay, what? lace bra because it was an impromptu hot tub moment. Okay. And I was glowing. My nails were glowing. My toes were glowing. Uh -huh. The lights in the, the hot tub were glowing. Yeah. And I was like, oh my gosh, I don't shine. I glow. Oh. And I said, glow. <gasps> That's going to be my new brand. Yes. And I, I kid you not, I manifested, I said that uh -huh. at the beginning of that year, I think it was the year 2020. Mm -hmm. By that, fa I, that conversation went on maybe, maybe the end of 2019. End of 20, the beginning of 2020, I was here in LA doing a buy-in trip, buying all my product to start Glow by Graffiti. And is that an acronym for something? Glow? Yes, Glow it is. It's gorgeous, loving, outstanding woman. And... Initially, I made this, of course, glow was just like the feel and mm -hmm. the, but then it's just like, I want that girl that buys these products, girl or guy, you know, whoever yeah. wants to get yeah. it really is not, Go glow. do your thing. Whoever wants to glow, glow, okay. please do. <laughs> <laughs> glow by graffiti .com. Okay. okay. But, um, they, I literally came up with that because I feel like my, that's what I want to embody. You know, mm -hmm. I want to walk into a room and own the room yeah. um and sometimes without having to say too much like we spoke about people being loud sometimes it's not about your voice it's just about your your presence your energy and my aesthetic for the brand is very you know i like to pick fun bright colors and interesting shapes and designs versus you know the simple styles that you can kind of get anywhere else I, yeah you know why, why be basic when you can be stunning okay okay in the w good words of nikki <laughs> <laughs> oh she's a little okay she's a look 
Um, so I want to get to know you more. I want the people to know you more. Can we play a little game real quick? We're going to play a little quick game. Oh, okay. A little this or that moment. I'm a little worried. Can we do it? Go. It's real fast. <laughs> you know. Fast but torturous. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Let's okay. Go. Hold on. Let me have a drink. Okay. Have a drink. Okay. Such a t- uh, yeah. Move the mic. Do what you got to do. Swing it back and forth. Um, are you ready? Wait. <laughs> Not wait. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. This or that. Delivery or sit down restaurant? Sit down restaurant. Ooh. Okay. Car or truck? Car. Ooh, summer or winter? Summer. Country or city? City. Broccoli or green beans? Broccoli. Ooh. Ooh I love broccoli. Really? Love broccoli. Soda or juice? Juice. Pancakes or waffles? Pancakes. <gasps> I'm a southern girl. Good morning or me. night? Ooh. It depends on what we're doing. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, this morning, not the last night. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, which one? Morning or night? Oh, God. I'd say night. Credit or cash? Cash. One night stands or making love? Making love, baby. Tacos or wings? Tacos. Ooh, shower or bath? Ooh, bath. Really? I am a bather, but I haven't taken... I've I've been showering a lot lately, but I'm a bather. Cake or bi- pie? That's all. Pie. Pie? I'm a pie. Ooh. What kind of pie? I like pecan pie. Really? Random. It's like a granny pie. Wait, what's the pie it? that the, uh, my, you know, my Pe- uncle, my Pe- uncle got it? And peach cobbler, too. But that's not peach really cobbler, pie. Yes. What's, the, what's the pies that um, they used to sell on the street? My uncle, he got, got out of prison. And then oh, they would sell these pies. Bean pies, my Bean brother? pies. Oh, I get that mixed up with the pecan. Yeah. No, pecan. My granny used to make a fire pecan pie, but I'm apple pie. pie I'm a pie girl for sure. Yeah. I like a crust. I like a good flaky. Oh, I love a good crust. Ooh. A crust. Ooh. Ooh, a crust. Okay. Yeah. High heels or flats? High heels. High heels are flat. Okay. But what? sneakers. Are you talking about sneakers? Yeah, that's a flat too. Because I hate a flat. Like a, yeah, yeah, like a like a no heel. Okay, so yours is I'm Jays a, or heels. Okay, I'm a I'm a sneaker girl, okay. sneaker girl. But when Plastic I hear when class. I hear flats, I think of them the no, shoes, no, the little office the shoes, the girls used to fold up with their purse. Uh-huh. Kate Spade, go home. Oh my gosh! Please. Plastic or glass? Glass. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 Keep it classy, baby. Okay. Penetration or oral? Hmm. Um. Well, I, you missed the. <laughs> but um. <laughs> okay, vacation or staycation? Vacation, me. Long hair, short hair. Long hair. Mm, praying or manifesting? Praying. Yeah. Praying. Thank you for playing. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, it wasn't too crazy. It was not crazy. I handled that with ease. What's next for you? What's going on in the glow world? What's going on in the brandy world? What do you have cooking for the people? What do we need to know right now? Right now, we are um just constantly just in the middle of just praying and manifesting more for ourselves. I think um, my brand is constantly growing and elevating. Um, I'm currently running production with uh, Leon. So now I took it. Y'all did New York Fashion Week. We just came back from Fashion Week and killed it, baby. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you. It was, it was a great show. It was a great experience. Um, Shout out to the team. Shout out to the family. She Mm -hmm. got engaged. It was beautiful. It was a beautiful the whole thing yeah um i am now going to be doing taking my talents and creating my own so i will have graffiti face production agency gpa um i'm in the process of just working out some kinks for that be on the lookout if you want to start a brand and you need you know the whole works to start mm-hmm. it off i mm-hmm. am excited as heck That's dope. because again i really enjoy helping people i like working with people so what better than to incorporate almost being a a, a, like a mentor Mm -hmm. as well as incorporating fashion with it as well so so i'm taking you know people who have never even known about how to start a brand but just really have a vision and helping them bring it to light and i love that well i'm proud of you absolutely thank Thank you you for being here thank you for having me archie oh my god cheers to you clank 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 yeah oh and another one and another one and one more one more for the road okay i love you i love you Hey friends, thanks so much for tapping into this episode. Make sure you subscribe, like, and follow for more right here on YouTube and wherever you stream your podcasts. Oh, and visit RGJ.com and follow me on social media at RGJ Speaks, okay? <laughs> and don't miss our weekly conversations right here on the Archie Podcast. Get into it.